so hello everyone welcome to today's session so we know that we are doing this after a long time but yeah there was a few circumstances where we had a busy schedule so that's why now we are again continuing so now we would promise you that we would be regularly uploading the videos so today we would be continuing with the topic of module 2 of electromagnetic theory that is divergence theorem okay so now what is this equation for divergence theorem basically is how this equation comes okay so this uh, the equation of divergence theorem comes from the basic equation of divergence that is del dot d is equal to rho v okay where d is the electric flux density its uh, unit is coulombs per meter square and rho v is the volume charge density its uh, unit is coulombs per meter cube and again now charge q can also be obtained by integrating rho v over a volume uh, v that is q is equal to uh, volume integral of rho v dv okay but uh, according to gauss law we know that one condition we have that is q is equal to psi okay and also del dot d is equal to rho v so in place of rho v uh, we have written here del dot d and in place of q i have written here psi so in this way i have just uh, changed the equation by replacing q by psi and by replacing rho v by del dot d okay yeah so uh, I have written it again in the form of uh, by changing the equation that is xi is equal to volume integral of del dot d dv. I uh, have written it as equation 1. Okay. Also we know that psi is equal to surface integral of d dot ds. This also comes from the Gauss law. Okay. This is the equation of Gauss law uh, which we have already studied. So we know that xi is equal to surface integral of d dot ds. Write it as equation 2. So now from equation 1 and equation 2 what we will be getting? Uh, we, we need to equate. Uh, psi terms or two psi terms are there we need to equate it that is surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of rho v dv okay since rho v is equal to del dot d therefore surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot d dv so this is our main equation for divergence theorem okay yeah so in order to if you if in the exam if they ask to state and prove divergence theorem uh, if maximum it might be asked for 4 to 5 marks what we need to do is this equation we need to remember what uh, whatever is there in this equation in the same form we need to write its word statement after that we need to start from the equation of divergence and uh, start deriving some of the terms by mentioning the each term okay for those also they may uh, consider marks okay that is we need to uh, mention what is d rho v along with their units then after that all the expressions how it is obtained from gauss law okay after that we will be equating the terms and we will be getting the equation for divergence theorem okay yeah so this was all about the divergence theorem so now related to this divergence theorem we are going to solve a few problems okay so yeah let's see those problems now so this is the first question for the divergence theorem that is in each of the following path find d that is the divergence at not uh, sorry not the divergence this is the electric flux density d at the point specified okay so here in this problem they have given the electric flux density quantity here okay using this we need to find the uh, value of the divergence d okay so for the divergence first we need to take uh, uh, we have this uh, sub questions here in this okay this is the first sub question sub question so we need to take the divergence equation here that is del dot d is equal to rho v okay so here we need to first find the value of rho v since we have asked to find the d at point specified that is divergence so we need to find rho v in all the cases okay so in order to find rho v so here first we need to be consider uh, say uh, seeing in which coordinate system the problem is given okay so here since we have a cap x y and z if there are x y z we, we know that it is in the rectangular coordinate system okay so in, in, in the same way we need to expand del dot d in rectangular coordinate system okay rcs that is the equation for del dot d in rcs is dou by dou x of dx plus dou by dou y of dy plus dou by dou z of dz okay with dx dy and dz are the coefficients of uh, vector ax ay and az okay so this is dx dy and dz so we need to substitute that now so now let's substitute that that is dou by dou x of 
value of dx is 2xyz minus y square plus dou by dou y of x square z minus 2xy plus dou by dou z of x square y okay so now we need to partially differentiate with respect to x y and z so now let's do, do that that is the dou by dou x of this term that is in this uh, we need to uh, take the y and z terms as constants uh, in this term that is 2 y z and the differentiation of x is 1 okay and this uh, minus y square term would be uh, 0 because there is no uh, we are not partially differentiating with term y so that's why only 2 y z dou by dou y of x square z minus 2 x y that is this term would be 0 and this term here is minus of uh, 2x is constant and differentiation of y is 1 so minus 2x and dou by dou z of x square y since there is no z term this is equal to 0 so this is 2yz minus 2x okay so now this is the value of rho v 2yz minus 2x okay yeah so here we they told us to find the numerical value okay so here they have given the specific points that is the value of x, y, z are mentioned here. Okay. So nothing needs to do in this equation that is rho v at 2, comma, 3, comma, minus 1. Substitute the values of x, y and z and find the value of rho v. That is 2 into value of y is 3 and value of z is minus 1 minus 2 into value of x is 2. Okay. So after simplifying the answer we get, we get is 10 uh, minus 10 coulombs per meter cube that's the unit okay of uh, volume charge density so this is the, our first sub question using the rectangular coordinate system we have solved this problem so now let's go to the second sub question so here is the next sub question that is they have given the value of d as 2 rho z square sine square phi a phi sorry a rho plus rho z square sine 2 phi a phi vector plus 2 rho square z sine square phi a z vector coulombs per meter square at the point 2 comma minus 110 degree comma minus 1 okay so plus 110 where this is the value of rho this is the value of phi and this is the value of z so in if they have given the values for rho phi z that is we can say that the that particular uh, coordinate system is cylindrical okay so now the same equation we are going to take that is the divergence equation we need to find the value of rho v and we need to expand del dot d in cylindrical coordinate systems okay for the all the three coordinate systems we have different set of formulas right for del dot d which we have already discussed so let's write that formula that is 1 by rho dou by dou rho of rho d uh, rho d rho vector or not d rho vector that is d rho plus 1 by rho dou by dou phi of d phi plus dou by dou z of dz okay so in this we need to be substituting d rho d phi and dz now that is del dot d is equal to 1 by rho dou by dou rho of rho into d rho term is this okay this is the d rho term that is 2 rho z square sine square phi plus 1 by rho dou by dou phi of rho z square sin 2 phi okay this is a d phi plus dou by dou z of dz that is 2 rho square z sin square phi okay yeah so now we need to be uh, we can cancel some of the terms out here yeah? that is this rho and rho would get cancelled and this rho and this rho would get cancelled okay so now with the remaining terms let's uh, partially differentiate it d by d rho of this term okay if this 2 z square sin square phi is constant okay take that outside and differentiation of rho is 1 so that term goes out plus dou by dou phi of z square sin 2 phi okay so again uh, we need to uh, differentiate with respect to phi so z square here is constant and differentiation of sin 2 phi is 2 cos 2 phi since the differentiation of sin 2 phi is cos 2 phi and we have here 2 phi that is differentiation of phi is 2 so 2 cos 2 phi plus dou by dou z of this term okay here uh, 2 rho square sin 
square phi since this uh, z term if we differentiate it it will be equal to 1 ok so yeah this is the value of del dot d or we can say this is the value of rho v so here nothing was to do in this uh, in this equation we need to be substituting the value of rho phi and z which is given in the equation that is 210 degree and minus 1 ok yeah so now let's solve it so now rho v is equal to 2 into z square so the value of z here is minus 1 square sin square phi of uh, sin square phi is for value of phi is 110 degree plus minus 1 square 2 cos 2 into 110 degree plus 2 rho square that is value of rho is 2 right so rho square would be 4 sin square phi that is 110 degree right so now for this uh, let's uh, further solve it so rho v is equal to uh, 2 into minus 1 the whole square is plus 1 so 2 into sin square of 110 degree okay if you put that in the calculator the uh, simplified answer i'm just going to write it you can check it later if you want it is 0 0.883 plus 1 square is again 1 so 2 into cos 2 into 110 degree that is cos 110 into 2 is 220 so cos 220 is minus 0 0.766 plus 2408 into sin square 110 degree that is 0 0.883 whole square okay so not whole square only square yeah so after simplifying this uh, solving this the answer we will be getting is 9.06 coulombs per meter cube okay so this is the value of rho v in case of cylindrical coordinate system so now we have one more sub question that is based on the spherical coordinate system so yeah now let's uh, solve that so now this is the sub question here third one that is d is equal to 2r sin theta cos phi ar vector plus r cos theta cos phi a theta vector minus r sin phi a phi vector coulombs per meter square okay at pc is equal to 1.5 30 degree 50, 50 degree where this is the value of r theta and phi okay so if we have the values of r, r theta and phi so the coordinate system we are considering it that is the spherical coordinate system and for spherical coordinate system after expanding del dot d we would be uh, we, this is the formula so now in this let's uh, substitute the terms and let's simplify the problem that is 1 by r square dou by dou r of r square into dr value is 2r uh, cos phi sin theta plus 1 by r sin theta dou by dou theta of r cos theta cos phi into sin theta plus 1 by r sin theta dou by dou phi of minus r sin phi right we have minus r sin phi right in place of uh, d phi yeah so now let's solve further del dot d is equal to 1 by r square dou by dou r of r square into 2r that is 2r cube sin theta cos phi plus 1 by r sin theta into r cos phi correct right yeah 2 sin theta cos theta divided by 2 okay minus r sin theta into r cos phi okay so how these terms came now came now that is here we have a differentiated with respect to theta dou by dou theta so that's why we are getting this term so here in this uh, uh, cos uh, cos phi uh, r cos phi is constant and uh, cos theta sin theta if we uh, take the co common terms that is uh, a 2 uh, 2 sin theta cos theta we would be getting after that uh, differentiation of uh, dou by dou phi of r sin phi is uh, 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 differentiation of sin phi is minus cos phi so if we, we have already a minus sign if you take minus into minus it will be plus okay yeah so here we can cancel some of the terms out that is 
2 and 2 gets cancelled here r and r will get cancelled okay similarly this r square terms would get cancelled here and here r and r would get cancelled so the simplified term now is 6 sin theta cos 5 since we have here uh, r okay so after the differentiation of dou by dou r that is we are 2 r cube it is 6 r square right after differentiation we are cancelling this term that is r square and r square would get cancelled so the remaining term is 6 sin theta cos 5 okay plus cos phi divided by sin theta this this cos phi and this sin theta into cos 2 theta okay because we have sin theta cos theta so that's why we are getting it as cos 2 theta minus cos phi by sin theta okay so this is the value of rho v here so now in this equation we are going to substitute the values of r theta and phi so rho v is equal to 6 sin 30 degree the value of theta is 30 cos 50 plus cos 50 divided by sin 30 into cos 2 into uh, 30 that is cos 60 degree minus cos 50 divided by sin 30 okay so that is rho v is equal to 6 into sin value of sin 30 in the calculator if you check it you are getting 0 0.5 or 1 by 2 cos 50 is 0 0.642 and uh, cos 50 is again 0 0.642 divided by 0 0.5 sin 30 into uh, cos 60 is again 0 0.5 minus 0 0.642 divided by 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 0 0.5 gets cancelled so the final value of rho v after simplification what we are getting is 1.28 coulombs per meter cube okay so if you want you can verify this by putting this in the calculator okay so this is the value of rho v we are getting after simplification so again go through this spherical coordinate sum very carefully there are few of the terms which are very very complicated so please go through okay yeah so that's all for this video in the next session we are going to be solving few more problems related to divergence theorem okay so this was all about divergence okay for different coordinate system we have solved for divergence so in the next class we are going to solve for divergence theorem so yeah that's all thank you